Gas prices continue to increase across the country. Here in Las Vegas, our average is up 10 cents from yesterday at 4.77 a gallon. The national average 4.25 right now. Even diesel in Las Vegas broke that $5 barrier. As those gas prices continue to soar, not just drivers but station owners are concerned. That's right. Well, Mary Jane Beliesa is live this afternoon at a gas station on Decatur and Desert Inn. And Mary Jane, I understand gas store owners say their customers aren't the only ones feeling the pain at the pump. Yeah, that's absolutely right, Christian. Gas store owners tell me that while they try to keep gas costs as low as they can, they don't control the prices. Now it all comes down to deliveries, brand, and state regulations. Just over the weekend alone, we've gone up 80 cents in gas. Sebastian Bellis is the general manager at Conoco at all Las Vegas locations. He says he doesn't see gas prices going down anytime soon. With everything going on in the world, the war going on right now with Ukraine and Russia, supply is uh, is limited right now and demand's very high. So th that's why you guys see the prices going up so much right now. And gas isn't the only item Vellis is worried about. Merchandise, it can get expired. Uh, you know, we, our sales go down. As the gas prices go up, our store sales go down because not a lot of people are looking to spend money inside the store. Now people are worried about if they have enough money to get gas for the week. Vellis isn't alone. Fred Smith is the owner of Fabulous Freddy's in Las Vegas and Utah. Smith says the bank fees alone are squeezing his wallet dry. Credit card fees are probably what's going to really make an impact. The gas stations just because we, we, we pay for those no matter what and you know gas doubles and so will our fees. For now, Smith says there isn't any delays for gas deliveries and will continue to offer the best customer service they can. You know, but it really isn't up to us. I mean, we get our costs from Shell in Las Vegas and they tell us where we need to be and then we've got to figure out. We take as long as we possibly can to raise them. Uh, but it's, it, you'll see that once somebody, paying on the deliveries, once somebody gets their gas delivery, um, that's when all the stores start raising their prices. Both gas stations I spoke to say they're trying to offer incentives for customers during this time. At Conoco, they try to keep the lowest gas price on their street compared to other gas stations. And at Fabulous Freddy's, they do offer to pump your gas for you. Or if you purchase a car wash, they'll be able to knock a few cents off a gallon when you do go pump your gas. Reporting here on Decatur and Desert Inn, Mary Jane Bellieza, live local now.